I want to say thank you to everybody who's helped with the stitch. Whether you've done one stitch or whether you've stitched for hours, it's been really important that so many people have taken part. This is one of our regular library groups. We're here in the library with the Thursday evening stitchers and all these ladies are volunteers. Since we started with the first group, which only had one person turn up, we've grown to uh, 15 to 20 people every week turning up on a Thursday, a whole different group turning up on a Friday here in the library to stitch for us. When we take the panels out to schools, children might do large, big stitches, and we love those stitches just as much. I bring the panels in here, and the ladies tidy it up. They fill in behind. They love seeing the stitches that everybody else has done. Some of them have finished motifs. They've worked on boats. They've worked on the nature, the wildlife along the river. And without them, we couldn't have done this. We've had over 800 hours so far of volunteer stitches. And you can hear them chatting. Chatting. There's no rules about stitching. All of you know that now. You push the needle in, you bring the needle out. That's all we need you to do. But the rule that we do have in the library is that when you're stitching, you chat, you connect, you're part of this community. And it's always so lovely. I might have a week rushing around with the panels, going to various groups, feeling stressed and anxious. And then I come in here and I'm washed over by the joy of people stitching together, by the chat, the community. And I can't thank these people enough for giving up their time week after week for this volunteer project. Thank you, ladies. You've been amazing. And I honestly couldn't have done it without you.